hey, subscribe in this video. You can either have your fantasy or the real deal. But trust me when I say the real deal isn't whatever you came up with in your head. And you're not going to get exactly what you want from them. So you better lock your door tonight. And don't go around telling anyone else where your spare key is. Maybe put it in a less conspicuous spot than under your doormat. Enjoy the ASMR. <laughs> Maybe I will finally get to sit down properly for once. I'm not on call until the weekend at least. <laughs> no actual resting until Thursday. Sucks. But it is what it is. <laughs> now, I go in at 6am tomorrow. Yeah. No sleep tonight. Nah, don't leave. I don't know when we will be able to get together again. It's fine. I can pull another all nighter if I have to. <laughs> Seriously, just sit down. You can help me recharge by talking with me for a bit. Then I will let you go. Yeah. Tell me about your day. How is work? Really? Oh god, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. No, 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 I get you. Sometimes people just don't listen. Uh, uh, this is just kind of how it is. Patient doesn't want to see you, but your senior gets mad if you don't get the laps at 3 a.m. Stuck not knowing whether they might call it on you. And when they do, the family wants to sue you for cracking a rib doing chest compression while you were waiting for the rest of the team to come in. It happens a lot way back when I was a resident. But now I don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. Wounds are still bad to work with, but patients don't hate me as much like they did back then. So long as they don't have something I cannot do much about. I mean, like the ones where it's too late to do anything to save that part of you. Nobody wants to get stuff cut off. But you need to sometimes, otherwise your skin's scared. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't go into that. Kinda nasty, honestly. Oh, I do my best and my track record's been pretty good so far. Maybe with some more outreach, we can make it even better. Prevent it before it gets to that point, so... So I don't have to have that talk with anyone. People listen more the last few times after some word of mouth from my patients. So I will keep working on it. Mmm, they do listen. Yeah, since I've got good reputation with my job. That's exactly why. Oh, shut up, no one says that about me. No one gives me a weird look like that. Just normal ones. Yeah, like regular looks. I don't look good enough to stare at. Well, no one's told me that I am. <laughs> are you saying that, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> then what are you saying? <laughs> Besides, I hope you are not implying people are going out and trying to find a serial killer that's on the loose in hopes of being sent specifically to my hospital on the off chance they will see me. Most people aren't unhinged enough to do that, or have weird tastes like that. Uh, not everyone thinks getting shanked is hot like you do. Yeah, and when you show up on the next true crime boss as a victim, you won't be around to draw for the guy that did it. You would be into that, would you? Can you at least be safe with your kings or something? Or someone you know too, you know? Well, I would hope it's not the same. 
you don't need me seeing you as a patient because you got a little too into it. Just don't go around inviting random serial killers into your house for sex and fun. Any serial killers? Of course, why would you? Letting them in ruins the authenticity. For real though, what is it about them that makes you so interested compared to say a regular guy? Uh, if you want him to get dangerous, just ask him to let your mom plan the wedding while making his family food bill. Hey, at least you have the chance to run. Or give him the chance to run from you. <laughs> he will probably have one off way before that with the expectation you have for him. You don't get to play happy home life with a killer. Well, you're home. They're out there killing. You can either have your fantasy or the real deal. But trust me when I say the real deal is not whatever you came up with in your head. The killer on the loose isn't who you think they are. And you're not going to get exactly what you want from them. So you better lock your door tonight. And don't go around telling anyone else where your spare key is. Maybe put it in a less conspicuous spot than under your doormat. Everyone puts them there. Meaning, serial killers know you put it there. Oh, throwing under a stack of old bricks or something? Throw them together kind of hazardly so it doesn't look like it was made intentionally. Put it next to a bunch of other junk lying around and you're golden. <laughs> you can thank me later. <laughs> if you need me to, I will hide it for you and make absolutely sure all your windows and doors are locked because I care and want to protect you from yourself. It's not a waste. I'm already putting my energy into everything else with my job. It's your turn. Cute or not, I've got to like whoever it is that I'm putting out extra effort for. I like you. I think it's the same. Well, it doesn't change the fact that I want you to keep safe tonight and promise you will at least lock up tonight. Okay? Nah, that's fine. Get to it before it gets dark. I've got things to take care of anyway. Plus, I've got to wake up early anyway. Yeah, 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 of course. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon, Dad. You will not be remember any of this in the morning. And then we're going to have to try this all over again. You have to be awake to see and hear and feel everything I do. You cannot talk if you don't experience it first. I need you to put in a good word for me with all your friends. If get to tell them how special you are, cute enough to give us a witness, so you don't have to die today. <laughs> there is something about hearing the words come out of a cute little thing like you when they interfere you on the news. I will make sure to watch your life too. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You've got to tell everyone that you were the only one I decided not to stab. Make you wonder what the press will think, huh? Maybe that a killer really does have a heart. And 
that whoever you are in so might be in danger. If that killer wants it all to himself. <laughs> But it's especially funny that that one even now how stupid they are for not realizing they could be the same. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm not everything that you expect. <laughs> Somewhere in the back of your head, a killer must have been some guy off the street that you can just put whatever face you find attractive to. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint. You know, if you hadn't actually listened to me and put your key where I told you to, I might have very well just given up. Really sick of this, you know. I had to get through hell and back to where I am right now. I have a reputation I've had to build up for years now, and here's a bunch of sick people, happy to be stabbed just for the chance to see me. Like you say. That wasn't even enough for you. A couple of stabbing here and there gave me a lot of opportunities I wouldn't have had otherwise. At least, I can thank you for that. But even that still isn't enough. <laughs> You're crazy, you know. To want someone like this. <laughs> And look what I've to do to be like this. Indulging in my vices take a lot of work. It gives me more work to do later when I have to fix up the messes that I cause. And the one I cannot fix. Well, they haven't been the most successful investment yet. I lost a lot in that, I think. The me from a few months ago isn't always here anymore. He shows up to work at six. But right now, it's just me. Well, it's me. But not that me. The doctor gets to play the goody to shoes. But not the killer. I get to have my vices while I reap the rewards of having more patience. Just so long as I don't mess things up before then. You are my voice. Very expensive one for the price I have to pay for you to even consider me. Well, are you happy? Well, scarier than you thought, right? Or maybe not. You already know I'm not going to hurt you. I could kill this off for good if I really wanted to. But whatever interest you might have dies with it. Still, I will always be a killer. That's never going to go away. No one can ever know. I will lose everything I ever wore for. And that side of me will die with it. No point in pretending if it's like that. You already know what I did for you. It could have been a lot easier if you were a little more reasonable with your days in man. But that doesn't matter now. You wanna. You've got a killer. Steph's barely in love with you. Is that enough? <laughs> Is this what you want? <laughs> And if it is someone you actually know, <laughs> then you know what I'm going to have to do. Yeah. After that, I can never go back. 
still has the goods for work. But the killer will always come back for you. Well, it's the daughter that lets the killer live out of those desires. No one sees the blood behind the bandage. So I get to stay free. One slip up, and I will never see you again. Uh, maybe that will help you appreciate what the daughter does for you. Not so disappointing when you get what you want out of it, huh? Maybe with time you will love the daughter too. But for now, I will rape the benefits for both of us.